Hey, hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. It's been quite a few months since I have posted my last video, but I do have a good reason for not being active on YouTube or any social media platform, but it's kind of a personal reason, so I will just get straight into the video. So currently it is winter in South Africa and it is freezing cold. The other morning I was driving uh, probably at like half past seven and my windscreen froze up. I will maybe insert a video, but it was cold. My windscreen is a freeze. I was like, I mean, I won, won. <laughs> what the heck? So I thought maybe, just maybe, if you are in South Africa, you probably want to crochet something wintry. Or if you are in the US or anywhere else that it's not winter at the moment, you can just prepare for the winter. Cause so I will just be giving you a few winter crochet ideas. All right, so I just scooched up a bit so I can put the pictures over here. So idea number one is a patchwork cardigan. I think this one is great for a beginner too because you could literally take some granny squares and make a cardigan out of it. And if you do have granny squares lying around, which if you have been crocheting for a bit, most probably you do, you can create a patchwork cardigan with it and also you can create different types of granny squares you can totally just put your personality into this cardigan a basic granny square cardigan you can also make a hexagon cardigan i have actually made one i love the pattern it's great you can use any type of color any type of yarn any type of whatever you want to use and it's pretty beginner friendly too sweaters you can make any type of sweater you want, a stripey one, a zigzag one, whatever you want, whatever color and whatever yarn. And I mean sweaters in winter. You can also make a pocket scarf. It is like a scarf, just a plain normal scarf, but it has pockets for your hands, obviously. Um, kind of cute. I don't wear scarves, so I probably won't make it, but you can also make a granny square scarf, a pixel graph scarf, which, oh my gosh. You can also make some hand warmers. I have seen these hand warmers go around that look like a little bear or kitty paw. It's super cute. Not my style, but it's cute. You can make some balaclavas with granny squares. You can make a normal single crochet or a half double crochet balaclava. You can even put some ears on it if you want to. <sighs> My favorite. You can make beanies. I also don't really wear beanies, but I do love crocheting them. It's a good way to work up any type of yarn you have. You can make a scrap beanie. You can make a two-tone beanie. You can make a cat beanie. You can make a graph beanie. I've made a Spider-Man beanie. I've made a two-tone beanie. It's fantastic. You can you can be very creative when you do beanies. It's super customizable. I actually um, just made this for one of my friend's brother's baby. And it's just a little baby bear beanie, which is super cute and I love it. Gloves, once again, it doesn't get as cold in South Africa as it does like in Canada or the United States or wherever. Um, but gloves can be pretty fun. I haven't done it before because the fingers kind of intimidate me, but maybe I'll try it. This is one that I have been wanting to try for a while. And maybe I can actually do it now because I'm not a beginner anymore. Socks. Just imagine crocheting yourself a pair of fluffy socks. No, don't imagine it. Go do it. Go crochet yourself some fluffy socks. I don't know how in leg warmers are anymore, but leg warmers, ear warmers, and probably my favorite, blankets. Blankets. You can be so creative with blankets. You can make a blanket out of a graph. So any type of picture, whatever you want, you can turn it into a blanket. You can use up your granny squares too for a blanket, a grand square blanket. You can even go as far as 
to make a star blanket, which I am actually currently busy with. It, it, it took me a while to like figure out the pattern, but it's, it's great. I love it. I don't know if you can see it. It's already big and this is two skeins of yarn. I have, I think four more, so it's gonna be a big boy. So this was a very short video, but I promise I will be posting tutorials soon. I do have a few YouTube video ideas lined up and hopefully I will get to filming and editing them. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some crochet ideas for the winter. If you don't know, I do have another YouTube channel, but I don't really post on it anymore and I wanted to hear if you have watched this video up until here. Would you be interested in me posting vlogs? Maybe. Crochet related vlogs but also more personal vlogs like adventures, like hiking in South Africa. Adventures in South Africa or adventures in whatever country I will be visiting next. Please let me know in the comments below if you will be interested or should I just keep it separate. I will link my pers personal <laughs> YouTube channel down below too. There's not much going on there and it's kind of a ghost town and it's, it's whatever. That's all from me for now. Stay safe and tell people that you love them. Bye!